Two different popular live streaming apps have come out, Periscope and Meerkat. And today I wanna to share with you some of the advantages and disadvantages that I've experienced with both of them in developing relationships with the community that surrounds my YouTube channel here, Video Creators, and my family's vlogging channel. I'll give you some of the pros and cons of each that's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday, which means it's time to take a look at some of the online video news from last week and talk about the implications it has for us as creators here on YouTube. And the first link that's in the description below is an application where you can go and apply to YouTube's trusted tester program, which will give you early access to the new YouTube creator app that we talked about last week. There's a lot of new features coming to it, including better analytics, the ability to control monetization of your videos. Uh, you can now edit and add new thumbnails straight from your mobile device to your YouTube videos and a lot more. So if you want early access to check it out, apply it using the link below. The second link down there talks about an update that's coming to Facebook video that will let you pop out a video from Facebook on a desktop and drag it anywhere you want on the screen, place it there, and then still continue to scroll through your newsfeed on Facebook, interact with other posts and pictures and things like that while watching that video in one of the corners or anywhere on the screen that you want. And we talked a lot last week about all the new signals that Facebook is looking at to determine what types of videos to show you. And, and a lot that's important for you guys to know as creators so you know what types of trig uh, signals and triggers you need to get from your viewers in order for your videos to appear in front of more people on the newsfeed. And with this update, I think we might see a rise in audience retention scores and a lot more engagement and a lot of other things on Facebook. So I think this is a good update. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below though. The third link down there goes to a YouTube playlist from YouTube Creator Academy where they have done 10 new free training videos for you guys about an overall creative strategy for your channel. The series talks about things like shareability and conversation, interactivity, consistency, targeting, sustainability, discoverability, accessibility, collaboration, inspiration, and a lot of other things that you'll pick up as little side tips here and there as you watch these videos. All 10 videos combined total equals only 23 minutes, so you can go through it very quickly when you just got a free couple 23 minutes actually somewhere to fill in. The last link down there talks about a bunch of updates that Meerkat just released to their live streaming app and guys I have been playing a lot with Periscope and Meerkat not as much with Meerkat more with Periscope and but I do love these features at Meerkat has been rolling out and one of my favorites is the ability for me to bring anyone who's watching the stream into the conversation and show their video where they, they basically hijack my stream for up to 60 seconds. They take over, they're talking to everyone who's watching my stream and I love doing this because I just did this a couple of days ago uh, where I just had an open you know, Q&A session and I brought people on, they asked their questions, I answered them, brought in other people, they left comments and then they had something they wanted to share for the last person who just asked their question. It was a really fun way of getting the community to interact and engage and or I could talk face to face with, with you guys. It was so much fun. Another thing I like about Meerkat is the ability to schedule a live streaming event to happen at some point in the future. You can't do that on Periscope. That means that people get a notification like, hey, in two hours from now, Tim Schmoyer is gonna go live. And if people feel so inclined to want to join that, then they have kind of a heads up and they know, oh, in two hours, I gotta make sure I'm in a quiet place or I wanna make sure my kids are in bed by that time now so I can be joined or whatever. They can plan accordingly. And I'm sharing this with you because I think tools like Meerkat and Periscope can be really great tools for you guys as creators to really solidify the connection and the relationship that you have with your audience. And now with this, new feature on Meerkat called Cameo where your viewers can take over your stream and ask you a question or interact in some way and then you come back after 60 seconds. Like that is such a great way to actually talk face to face with your audience in a way that's very scalable. Even if you have millions of views and subscribers, you can still interact with some people in the community that way and I just think it's awesome. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below any tips or tricks that you have or have learned about with using uh, Meerkat and Periscope. Uh, Periscope, the two big differences that I found is that uh, Meerkat has a lot more interaction stuff, tools built in, but two major downfalls. One is that it really takes a long time to kind of get the momentum going for people to find out and, and join it. The notification system on there doesn't seem nearly as good as notification system on Periscope where I can quickly get like, 
you know, a bunch of people, but then they tend to fade off really quickly. Whereas, you know, uh, Meerkat, they tend to stick around for a while. So if you're doing long, like an hour plus, I would say use Meerkat. Something really quick, I would say Periscope seems to be better for that. The other thing is that uh, Meerkat seems to have like a really long delay from the time I say something to the time people hear it to the time it comes back to me. And the interaction is like really kind of makes the conversation a little bit awkward. It seems to be like a 10 to 12 second delay sometimes. Whereas on Periscope, the delay is maybe like two seconds, which makes it a lot easier to interact but you don't have the ability to bring on your viewers into the chat and the video, video, the video live stream with you and stuff. So a lot of pros and cons each way. That's kind of my take. I'd love to hear from you guys what your take is on the two and how have you used them to develop your audience with the community that surrounds your channel. And if you're thinking about using either one of these apps, definitely check out the comments down there below. I'm sure you'll learn a lot from those people like I do every week. And thank you for hanging out. If this is your first time here. I'd love to have you subscribe to video creators. I, guys, I help you guys grow your audience and your YouTube channels because I believe a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread and the world needs to hear. So I help you do that with videos on Tuesdays where we do new stuff like this, updates happening in the online video space. Tomorrow, Wednesdays, I give you guys some YouTube tips. I also do some YouTube Q&A with you guys every Thursday. And guys, I really hope this helps you reach people and change their lives with messages that you're spreading on your channel. So thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.